the shadow. Shadow. Hello, and welcome back. Welcome truly back to the universe. It's been a mile and a minute, and as you can see, my setup is completely different because I live in a totally different place, and I know I said I would give you a beauty studio tour and all this junk in the trunk, but let me tell ya, nothing is in order in my life. Nothing. Well, it is, but not really. So, I'm gonna give you what I can give you when I can give it to you. And today, I'm going to give you a short review on, that's right, you guessed it, the Patrick Ta Cream Foundation, Major Skin Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Review. Um, I feel so awesome. Okay. Am I usually like this? I don't know. Anyways, um, I've already done my eyes because I have to go to church and my camera's out of battery, so I was like, okay, let me just give them the skin action. If you are not a subscriber, join if you want to. My posting has been a bit infrequent, you know, just being transparent here. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in. Um, yeah, I just woke up. It doesn't look, I don't look the best, but I don't look the worst. I've seen worse. I already did a first impressions reel yesterday, so I do know how wears a little bit. I was only able to have it on for three hours because I put it on in the evening. So today I'm gonna give it a full day. I'm in the shade light three, which I think is a hair light for me, but I think it will be perfect for the winter. And I also bought this dual ended brush with that launch with the collection. Together, this was like a hundred bucks. This is $52, this is $45. It is not affordable, but is it luxurious? Yes, and I'm such a schmoop for Patrick Ta. Also, I'm in direct sunlight, so there's that as well. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start. I have nothing except for like sunscreen and my my regular skincare on. I don't have any primer or anything. And I will let you know that this foundation, bro, the sun is like the most unreliable source of lighting ever. I'm just gonna have to do it like this. This is so not ideal. I've been filming in completely non-ideal and now I'm sweaty. This is terrible sauce. I have to go to church in 15 minutes. All right, so this is with one layer. <sighs> this is with one layer of it on and me sweating. What is new? But I also want you guys to see. Very skin-like, right? And I think it covers my blemish as well, but it's not like super full coverage. I would not call this super full coverage. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Wait, so you can see like how much it does cover up your skin, but very, very feathery, very lightweight, very balmy and buttery of a texture. And I think when you first do it with the brush, since it's so buttery, you do see a lot of streaks, but the more you blend it in with this brush, because it's so soft, it blends in so well, but I'm so sweaty. That's the problem right now. Yeah, I think this is also too light, but it's okay. I think I'm gonna keep it because I think I can make it work with bronzer. And just to even it out a little bit, hold on, let me zoom you in. This is what I mean by the streaky, like, you know, you can see it's not like perfect for sure. Like it's not full coverage, but it definitely covers everything up pretty nicely. It's so skin-like. Very model off-duty vibes, very much so. Which I feel like is his entire brand. All right, so this is just one layer of the foundation. I know it's pretty light. Okay, I know that, I know that, but it's okay because I will bronze myself. Now I'm gonna go in with the powder. I low-key love this powder. I think it's not super mattifying, but it definitely is, like I said, setting. I don't know if it's like hydrating, but it's definitely a setting foundation powder too. So I'm actually gonna not put on too much, just some under my under eyes, brush a little at the bottom. And this brush is nice and pointed, so I feel like you can really get these areas more specifically. And then I'm just gonna take a bigger powder brush and do one schwazoop, ta ta, and then just some light powdering elsewhere. All right, so this is the foundation. Sorry the lighting is so like this, but what do you guys think? I I, uh, I honestly really like it, but I have only worn this. This is like my third time. I would say it's like my 2.5 time, so I can't be 
you know, can't be too sure. And I feel like I'm a little biased against them or for them, for Patrick, one of my favorite brands. But I don't know, I just really like it. I do see a little bit, I don't think I did a good job. I think it's because I'm, I'm in a rush. Overall, I feel like it really melts well. And darn it, I shouldn't have powdered because I'm about to bronze and all that stuff. But I will say it does sit well under other cream products. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and then come back. And I'm gonna do a wear test and then tell you all my full thoughts. And do I think it's worth it? I will let you know. So let's go. I'm not highlighting. Mm. All right, I'm done. That was so quick. It's because I did my eyes off camera. All right, so this is the final look. Um, I used all Patrick Ta products. I did do kind of something not too much um, because I am going to church, so I don't want to be like, you know, but I think it's really nice, pretty. I haven't even put on this much makeup in a minute. I don't know if you guys can really see very well because the lighting is patootie, but got my Patrick Ta chiseling me down a little bit. I have the She's Blushing blush from Ita. I have the Major Dimensions 2 on my eyes. I even have the Soap Brow on my brows. I have the full syringe on my lips. And of course I have the foundation on my face. And my hair looks patootie because I'm so, so itty. This is the first hour of me putting it on, but I will say from yesterday, I definitely did like it more than not. I want to say I really like it. I think the finish is very, very natural. My only concern is how it holds up in my sweat because I have been so sweaty these days. I'd have to tell you if it's worth the price. I'm hoping it is worth it. $52 is expensive. That's as much as the Dior foundation. And Dior is luxury. But I would say this is pretty luxury and Patrick Ta is around that price range anyway. In terms of amount of product, I don't even know. Oh my goodness. 0.42 ounces and 0.32 ounces of the powder. I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm trying to think too, like would I use this as my wedding foundation? I, you know, I would have to think about it. I might, I, I, I don't know, so it's a hair too light. But besides that, it's so easy to use, but it's so expensive. I don't know, but we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted, so I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye. Okay, it's been four hours. I just came back from church. Here's how it looks so far. Pretty good, if you ask me. It hasn't broken down or anything. Looks like my skin so far. I feel like I'm trying not to be so like, yeah, it's so awesome because I look too biased against Patrick Toss. So I'm trying to be even more eagle eye about it, but I don't, it just looks so skin-like. So what can I say? But I'll check in at the eight hour mark, hopefully, because I do have to go somewhere. All right, so far, so fantastico. It has been officially around eight hours and I am still here. Let me show you. So no breaking, like still looking freaking good. Yeah, low key, I'm like, do I have anything on? That's kind of my concern right now. I almost don't even know if I have foundation on. No, I'm just kidding. I know I have it on and I see some areas. Okay, see like when I touch it, I just smudged it, I think. Yeah, I did, oopsies. Okay, eight hour wear test. How do I feel? How do I think? What do I recommend this foundation? Yes, I do recommend it. Like, I'm just, re I'm really impressed at like the balminess of this. It's so buttery. Like, I'm so impressed by the butteriness of this formulation. Yet, I think with the powder, it really sits well and it doesn't move too much. Granted today I didn't, like actually I was walking, actually I, was, I did a lot, I was walking around, I went to church, I was eating, talking. No creasing, no, like no visible. Some foundations are such, so obvious creasing on my smile lines, I really don't like that, but this has no creasing. I think it's because it's such a balmy formula. There is like movement to it. I don't know, but I really, I actually really, really enjoy it. $52, again, is very expensive, 
for the amount of product that you're getting and I know you are getting also a powder so I guess there's some of that but again if you're looking for a high-end foundation I do think this is worth considering is this my number top favorite I don't know yet I think if I do like my end of the year roundup um, you might see it in there but I have to try it really more to say it's like a favorite of mine because I certainly now like probably my one of my favorites is Kosas um, and the beautiful skin by Charlotte Tilbury um, I do see myself using this very in rotation of those but it's just like not enough product I feel like I'm gonna um, use this more sparingly but besides that I think they're all love lovely it complements my Patrick, other Patrick Ta products so well, and I do recommend it. Please let me know what you think, if you liked it or not. Yeah, I haven't done a review in such a long time, so I feel a little like an unoiled engine. I don't know, but I'm gonna see how I can get back into it. I wanna give you a small tour of this space that I redid in our new home and go from there. Hope you guys have a most wonderful day. As always, be nice to your parents, wear a mask, and I'll see you in the future someday. Bye-bye.